Hey, what's up you guys? This is Sentai22 here. How are you guys all doing? Well, it's that time again. I'm going to answer your questions. So let's get started now, shall we? The first question is from Hilarioff and he writes, Did you watch Saban's Mask Rider and what did you think about the series? More power, take care, Sentai22. Thank you very much, Hilarioff. Um, yes, I did watch Saban's Mask Rider when I was a kid. And I have to say it's not bad as a lot of people say it is. I mean, sure, the editing was bad. I mean, there are often times when you see Dex's uh, Japanese counterpart, Menominee Kotaro, in the stunt scenes. Not only that, but they, you know, heavily edit a lot of the uh, Japanese source material, like, for example, um, uh, like, for example, RX stabbing the monsters, um, you know, instead. So, uh, instead, uh, Saban's Mask Rider, Dex just shoots a laser out of his sword or a saber, which I think was pretty odd since in VR Troopers, you know, JB, you know, stabbed the monster. As well as uh, they got the uh, Kamen Rider names wrong in Mask Rider Warriors. And of course, again, the editing was atrocious at best. And, and also, uh, the source material, uh, Kamen Rider Black RX, was far superior than Saban's Mask Rider. I watched uh, Kamen Rider Black RX, awesome show, but I don't really hate on Saban's Mask Rider. I mean, it's a really fun show, um, really fun characters. Um, again, you know, there's a lot of faults in this series, but, you know, they just, you know, people make such a big deal how bad this show. It's not really that bad as a lot of people say it is. Um, actually, it's just a little, it's a little, uh, it's good for laughs. I mean, people really got a kick of the whole, I am Amazon craze! Amazon meme, actually. Um, if you guys can make a shirt with, you know, with Skyrider's head, saying I am Amazon it, it would tr I would truly appreciate that mine is double X if you guys can do that for me so last question is from Shadow Moon 89 Z and he writes what do you think would happen if Saban began adapting Sentai series in the 80s uh, it probably would have a little success but it would surely fade away like around three or four years um, because at that time Transformers were still dominating so I don't know how it would fare with Power Rangers um, and of course you had a lot of people bickering if it would if it would release at the same time of, as Voltron for example people would say oh they're copying Voltron you know I, when I was watching Toonami uh, when Voltron first aired on Toonami a lot of people said the same thing vice versa you could say Oh, they're copying Power Rangers, like, dudes, same people, same company, you know, so... It would have never worked out. I mean, it would have been on hiatus for, like, maybe three or four years and might come back, but it would never work. The reason why uh, it was so successful was because of the timing. You have to keep in mind that everybody was into the whole dinosaur craze with the whole Jurassic Park movie coming out. So, you know, Saban picking Jew Ranger for the adaptation for the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was the best thing that was the best decision he ever made. Originally he was gonna choose he was gonna choose Jetman, but unfortunately it did not work well. So yeah. Again, it has to do with timing, so it probably would have never worked out in the eighties. So but, I don't know, that's just my opinion. What would you think if, if Power Rangers was released in the 80s? So, write your comments. So, this is Sentai22, and uh, thanks for watching.